Hi. Hello. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is so weird. Today's Swedish word of the day is gone, which is a Swedish borta. Borta. Hop. Hop. Which is jump in English. It was his birthday yesterday, so he was very spoiled. He even had a mom who may or may not have been home the entire day just because of the occasion. Yeah, three years old needs to be celebrated because he's a baby. So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me. This is the first video I filmed in a very, very long time. Uh, huh. yeah, I know I've been gone. You have probably seen a will I buy it video um, because I'm actually filming that after this and then this video is probably going up after so it's gonna be two videos of me looking the same. Maybe I'll change the shirt, I don't really know. Anyway, I wanna give you a little heads up before you start spending your time watching this video because I know it's probably gonna be a, a bit long and it's probably gonna be a bit negative, it's gonna be a bit ranty, so if you don't wanna be like dragged down, don't watch this. I'm going to use some new and new-ish makeup. I have some PR that I want to use and then some products I've bought myself that I also want to use. So uh, yeah, if I look a little bit red, I just kind of came home, ate some lunch, took Sig out for a walk and then ri ripped off, no, wiped off all of my makeup. So. Yeah, okay, let's get started. So the first product is not new, but this is new to me. This is the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. I've had this for, I wanna say six or seven months. I got this from Elliot and I was saving it to do like a full face of first impression. And I just forgot about it. So every time I look at it, I feel guilty and I really, really wanna use it. It's called like Prime Light, so I'm assuming that it is dewy or something. Ooh, okay, so it is sort of like, is it like a MAC strobing cream? I'm not really sure. Let's try it out. Oh my God, I look so dirty. Okay, so where have me, myself and I've been? I've been here, <laughs> but I've been spending a lot more time on Instagram and a lot of time, more time off camera. By the way, I had this little bow on. I feel like a fucking cheerleader. When I left my home this morning, I was like, I, I was looking at myself in the elevator mirror and I was like, you look like a fucking 14 year old cheerleader without the amazing body. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, so I've been spending a lot more time on Instagram. So if you are following me there, you're probably seeing this background or this backdrop or whatever. Put this up on my wall. Usually I used to record there and then my bed is there. Now I'm sitting at, I'm still cracked up. Or, you know, I'm having a very, very small area to work with, but I'm working with it. I'm gonna use this foundation. This is from Technic. This is the Pro Finish Serum Foundation and it still has the plastic on. I have worn this, but I think oh, this is the most, or the newest one I have, yeah. This contains 35 milliliters and if you are from America, it contains 1.18 fluid ounces. I have the lightest shade. No, I don't know if I have the lightest shade, by the way. But I have the shade Porcelain. I wanted to show you guys this. So I bought these two sponges from like Makeup Revolution because they came out with this and then they have a normal sponge and then this one, which is sort of like a June Co dupe. These suck. These suck like uh, balls. They suck balls, basically. I bought because on Beauty Bay, these sponges came to Beauty Bay. No, the June Co or whatever they are called came to Beauty Bay. So I bought those, still haven't gotten them. I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow, so yeah. Oh, and I'm always doing like foundation Fridays currently on my Instagram. So again, follow me there if you want to. I have to say that I'm actually very, very impressed by this foundation. 
and just blended it into my skin and I'm doing a foundation Friday on this so that's why I'm quiet when doing this or applying this foundation I can't speak but I feel like this foundation has a light coverage it feels very very light on the skin and it's still like very very luminosity it's not thick at all it's a little bit more liquidy than I thought why did I think that it would be thicker because my serum foundation from the ordinary is also very liquid it's not mine anymore I actually don't even have it anymore because I decluttered it okay I can't talk about the makeup and then talk about where I've been and so on so it's probably gonna be a little bit more like a get ready with me than I thought so yeah I do apologize for that no I don't apologize for that a concealer that I cannot live without today now that I've used it is my Becca Becca my Becca one. Oh, I just have so dry lips I bought this from Jouer this is the Overnight conditioning and repairing lip mask. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Anyway, this is the one I'm talking about, the under eye brightening corrector. So I have had, my life has been a little bit more hectical than it usually is. And I remember telling you guys that this year, I'm so, so sorry. I'm trying to reach everything while talking, but I told you guys uh, in the beginning of this year or in the end of last year that this year would be a little bit more hectical and I would have a little bit more stuff to do. I should have used this concealer before going in with foundation, but it's okay. Oh, my piercing. And it's been true. Like, I've had so much more, so much more um, time off YouTube doing other things. And I've been trusted with certain things. And I've gotten offers of certain things that it's just stupid of me to pass up just because I want to film and I want to you know what I mean it's stupid to not take the chance when you're giving the chance given the chance just because you're hoping fuck always drop shit just because you're hoping that YouTube could turn out to be something and then I've been and I don't know if you should admit this, but I've been very, very stressed. Every single weekend, I've been like, oh great, it's the weekend. Now I can sit two days cramped up in my living room or in my makeup room, filming and editing and getting a lot of stuff done for the week. And then during the week, I don't have to film and edit, edit as much. So that's been a challenge because, because that means that I don't really get to see or do anything. Like I don't get to see anyone and I don't get to do anything during the weekends and then during the weeks uh, I don't really see or do I, I mean I see Niklas of course but we don't really do a lot of things and I've told him that I want to do more stuff I want to be able to to go out to a restaurant without feeling stressed about it because I have shit to do at home or because I want to um, I don't know that for instance I'm going to see a, a friend next week and I was thinking to myself like okay that means that that day goes away for me for filming because I'm not going to be able to film that entire day and I'm not gonna be able to edit that entire day so I was like okay I'm not gonna be able to do that that day and I'm not gonna be oh, oh I'm getting so tired of myself I feel like I shouldn't talk about this and I shouldn't complain about it, but it's just been stressful. So I decided for myself that I cannot continue living like this. I am going to lose my mind and I need to do what makes me happy and I need to find that happy medium. For me, that is, it's totally okay not to f upload seven times a week. I would like to, but I would like to have a life as well. I don't want to be cranked up in here, film and apply makeup and not live my life. 
and I have dealt with depression for so many years and now I'm starting to feel a lot better. I'm starting to not freak out when Nicholas and I are going to do something or when we're planning stuff or you know when I'm taking you know as I said that I got in some offers and shit that I don't freak out about them and I don't like I'm actually excited of course I'm nervous about certain things but everyone can be nervous about stuff you know this foundation didn't work to apply this bronzer this is the milk bronzer by the way I have used it every single day since I got it so that kind of says a lot uh, anyway it's just been very very stressful for me and then also with the makeup and murder videos I've been so stressed so it was around the time when a bunch of people like on Instagram and on YouTube did a video for me that was so, so sweet it was Instagrammers and youtubers who did a video and they all collabed and made that collab for me about like the Polina palette and that was just like the sweetest thing I've ever experienced and I was so surprised but um, a lot of the people talked a little bit about my channel and stuff and they all mentioned not everyone but a lot of people mentioned my makeup and murder series and they said that it was like the best thing about my channel and I was like okay well maybe I I should focus a little bit more on that but that made me lose a lot of other people and a lot of other people's interest I thought that the interest was much higher than it actually was and don't get me wrong I'm not saying that oh no one didn't watch my videos because people watch my videos so that's not what I mean but I thought that it would be a little bit of a bigger audience than I assumed and it wasn't and that's totally fine you know some of you guys sometimes and I feel so bad that you feel like doing this but a lot of you or some of the sometimes you contact me and you say I'm so so sorry that I haven't commented on your videos in a while but I've been sick and I've been dealing with x y and c and I've been like you don't have to comment and you don't have to watch my videos that is okay i understand that you guys have a life and maybe if you're lucky you have like an hour or something to spend on youtube i understand that you might want to to watch someone else or uh, another content that I, than the content that i do and that is okay and you shouldn't feel stressed or guilty about that and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because of the fact that I felt so guilty about the fact that I didn't watch my friends YouTube channels and I haven't for a very long time and I don't want them to think that I'm not watching their channels because they are boring or whatever but it's just like you know you have certain hours a day to spend on YouTube and I was getting so stressed because as I said, you, you guys know, it's a lot of editing, it's a lot of filming, and you spend a lot of hours in front of the camera and in front of the computer. But then also you have to add that you need to watch like 50 people's YouTube channels and videos. And there's just not enough time for me to watch 10 people's or 20 people's uh, videos and a lot of my friends updates multiple times a week some people even upload where is my eyeshadow primer I think it's empty I think I used like the last amount this morning I'll be honest I could probably spend the time watching everyone's video but I try to spend a little bit of time with my boyfriend and in front of the television or in front of Netflix or whatever it may be at least like an hour a day so that we can spend some time together and just okay watch TV and lay in the couch you know I don't I don't know I enjoy that and I enjoy watching like Family Guy where I don't need to focus so I've been feeling very stressed and feeling very very guilty about that and I feel like I shouldn't feel guilty because I don't oops, watch everyone's YouTube video about makeup because it's just makeup you know so this is very controversial talking about PR that you want to receive and so on but there's been one list 
or two lists actually but one list that I've been wanting to get on it's not like I've been contacting this brand and been like hey add me add me add me but I did receive a package <laughs> and I feel like my life is complete <laughs> oh my god I wanted to cry when I got this package so I've been in contact with the PR firm for a while, but I've only been on their mailing list, which is totally fine because then I knew about certain launches that would come and Pixie is a brand that you guys know I love. I don't love like all of the makeup from them, but some of the products and I got this. So I'm just gonna open it and show you. So it looks like this and it's like different collabs with different people. So it's like both up and down. And I think I will um, have a little giveaway with two of these thingies, maybe three, maybe this entire kit. I don't really know. It's going to be on my Instagram if you wanna check it out. So please do if you wanna follow me there. I can't shut up about Instagram, apparently. I'm gonna use this one. This is the Heart, De Heart Defensor. I've been wanting to use this PR package for a very long time, but I wanted to show you guys it first. And then today I actually got this, which is the Sweater Weather. This is from Max Up The Makeup. This is their third eyeshadow palette. I think a lot of you guys would say that it's pretty dull and pretty boring except for the greens. But you know what? I have become boring. This is what I like nowadays. This is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis today. I love to use purples. I love to use browns. I love to use greens. That is sort of like the three colors that I use every single day and hot pink. Don't forget hot pink, but yeah, I'm actually very, very excited to put this in my uh, shop, my stash. So this palette looks like this. It has a little heart on the outside and then it has some matte shadows and then it has some shimmer shadows. Wee, 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 wee. So there's not a lot of shadows that's like very deep and that's totally fine. I have the Max Up The Makeup Palette for that. Never used Pixis eyeshadow, so this is gonna be very, very interesting. I'm gonna start off with this color right here. Does it have a name? Oh, he got money. Okay, <laughs> that's strange. That's a very strange name, but sure, okay, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. So let's not talk about my bad guilt or whatever, or where I've been, we've covered that. Let's talk about something that is a little bit more fun for you guys to listen to without me just nagging. And that is how my no buy has been. You know, this is why I don't wanna talk about stuff like this on, on YouTube and Instagram and such, because, so I featured that I had purchased a foundation and a lot of people on Instagram when the bananas, a lot of people were like, yay, tell me what you thought about it. And other people were like, you said you were on a no buy. And I just, oh, this is what I hate with YouTube that, you get questioned for everything. It doesn't matter what it is, you get questioned for everything. So if you say that you're on a no buy or low buy and you don't stick to the rules, then people are going to talk crap about you for that. And then maybe you haven't blended out your foundation perfectly. Then you're gonna get yelled out for that. There was this Instagram video I did that people were so upset about. I did like a skincare Instagram video and I didn't have a mirror and I hadn't blended in my day cream perfectly. There was this one tiny spot there where it was still day cream and people went bananas over it. And I was like, what the fuck is your problem? Why does that matter? So next up, I'm going in with this shade. I've already done it on this side. I'm trying to film that for Instagram. I don't know what it is, but people get mad about everything. And I'm, when I say people, I don't mean you guys because I know that the people on YouTube are usually, most of you guys in a way, at least the ones that comment and talk and shit like that. You're here because obviously you like me. There's such a narcissistic thing to say, but I know that most of you guys like me and you wouldn't care that I haven't blended out my foundation perfectly or that my eyeshadow is chalky or 
choppy or whatever it's called or that I mispronounce something or whatever it is because you guys understand me especially if you have been here for quite a while this is why I didn't want to talk about the no buy because people actually get very very angry but I haven't stuck to my no buy I'll say that I stuck to it about like a month and then shit just spiraled I started buying all of this skincare and I was like before I started my no buy I was like I don't need to um have any rules for skincare because I don't really buy a lot of skincare anyway and then I was like BAM give me everything I have so much new skincare that I have um, made a skincare drawer here and then in that hutch over there no judgment the next two mattes are these ones so I think I'm actually gonna dip into this one right here it's not that deep but it still has a little bit of like I like the undertone of this. Oh, and that's also something I've been so proud. Okay, let's continue with the no buy. I haven't bought a single new eyeshadow palette and I feel very, very proud about that because I haven't been inspired to purchase anything. Well, there's been one palette, like the Norvina 3 palette, like the volume three, but that apparently isn't coming to Sweden. That's pretty good because then I don't have to think about it and then I wanted to purchase like that Sigma palette that's a little bit older it's not but the one with like really really beautiful shimmers but I decided that I wouldn't purchase it this is a, as deep as it's gonna get I think I'm actually not gonna use the max up the makeup palette because I feel like maybe I want to keep it like this so that's another thing that I have had a little bit of a pressure on and this pressure comes only from myself but that uh, you know when I do makeup you, I know that a lot of you guys love love it when I do like these colorful I'm gonna take this shade now these like really beautiful like colorful looks and I've been way more into like neutrals now I don't mind a neutral palette now there's actually a few neutral palettes that I think are very gorgeous and that I want to purchase I've totally changed up not fully but I have started to um, like both both of them I love it because it gives a whole new world to my makeup collection and it's a lot of fun playing with browns that I haven't been playing with for such a long time so I've been a little bit like okay if I don't do an extraordinary colorful look are people going to unsubscribe to me or are people gonna call me out for all of the bullshit that I've given or all of the crap that I've given neutral palettes or nah this is the kit there's another kit in this one that contains like a black uh, liquid shadow and a nude lipstick and my friend or my friend I haven't ever met her but I think she's adorable she's called Alice fuck I just went to her Instagram okay so she's she, her name is Alice but she did, did this beautiful black smoky eye with uh, that glitter and then like a nude lip and it was so freaking beautiful and I really wanted to do that look but this palette didn't have a black so nah this shadow is called mirage and it looks like this it's very pretty it doesn't look much for the world but it has like pink green gold like it's a really pretty duochrome i hope that my camera is able to pick that up because it's just so beautiful and i've been so much into duochrome shadows so i'm just gonna paint this on because i'm too lazy to pick up a brush but then also when you think about it those looks that i've done like the colorful looks they are so hard or they take so much time and this doesn't take that much time well it takes a little bit of time but not like too too much time it's not unbearable I think it all comes down to that it got so so much for me and I started pressuring myself so it just got a little bit too much and I think that a lot of us have experienced this whether you are on YouTube or not like if you are uh, working a lot and then you're maybe not 
vacuuming every single day or taking the dishes so your house is just starting to get more and more crappy your house is starting to get more and more up a mess maybe you feel like a bad boyfriend or girlfriend or you know whatever it is I feel like a lot of people can relate to stress and maybe you're starting to fall behind in school and I think it's important to kind of just slow down a little bit when you start feeling like that and start doing what you think is fun and of course do all of the basic things that you need to do in life like for instance maybe go to work or you know whatever it is but then also have a little bit of fun or just relax if you feel like it something that makes me relax that's not like laying in the couch is just taking sig out for a walk because you know if you follow me on instagram he loves it he loves going on walks he's a little bit scared but he likes it when i stop and i take him to a place where he can run around and i chase him usually not a lot of people is around <laughs> because i think it's a little bit embarrassing with me like <gasps> new tire day and that is basically now we're gonna get ya sorry mm. so what i did when i started my no buy i stopped following trend mood on instagram and that is not because i think that she's a horrible person or that i have a problem with her that was just because i didn't want to see all of these new makeup releases that could ultimately tempt me this uh, tip i actually got from my friend ellie because we we talked a little bit and she said that she was on a no buy and that she unfollowed trend mood and i was like oh my god that is so smart so this is my little bronzer two face bronzer my product pan bronzer and i feel like i've been getting a whole lot of use out of this i'm not too sure if i'm gonna finish it up but i'm gonna work on it for the rest of the year anyway and i really really like this bronzer it's a very very fine bronzer and it tastes delicious when you get it in your mouth mouth talking about party pan and stuff i've met some of my goals but some of my goals i've realized that i'm just not gonna meet doesn't matter how much i'm gonna use this product like for instance i took two blushes in this product pan and i was like okay i'm gonna hit pan on these uh-uh not gonna happen i started this product pan this summer i think it was in june it was just for myself and I just included like a few products that I like and I would like to get some use out of. I knew that it would be fun but it wouldn't be you know too much because I don't want to get bored so I cannot include like use this blush up because that is too big of a goal for me. But I have my Natasha Denona gold palette and I've been using this a lot. And I realized that I'm never going to hit pan in this. Like, look at these mattes. They still have dents in it, in them. But a lot of them looks unused. And I've used this palette more than I would like to admit. This is the one shade that has gotten, like, a very, very huge dent in. But it doesn't matter how much I use it. Because I'm never going to hit pan in it, I think. You guys know I've had a pretty big obsession with this palette. I definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of this. Even though you can still not see that I've used this blush. I have and a zillion times. I even used it like a lip tint sort of situation a lot of times. But Milk Makeup came to Sweden and I purchased some products. Now I want everything from Milk actually going <laughs> after this to pick up a package that contains a new blush from milk and the powder because i didn't have enough powder and uh, but anyway this is in the shade quickie love mine looks a little bit nasty perhaps because i've used it today but it looks like this it's a very very beautiful like berry toned thing that i'm so obsessed about so this is the blush that i use every single day now and have done for since i bought it so maybe like a month can it even be a month I'm, uh, but it's very very beautiful and it's a little bit more plummy than the natasha denona one so i like to use stipple brushes and i'm very very light-handed but i still get a lot of pigment Th this entire like makeup situation has gotten like so so out of hand at the moment i'm in a place where i want to declutter 80 percent of my entire collection i just want to keep the things that i love the most 
So for instance, I have maybe four foundations that I'm thinking of keeping. I'm not gonna do this, but I was, I couldn't sleep last night. So I was thinking about this, like, okay, which, if I decluttered, like which foundations, foundations, which foundations would I keep? Which powders? And then I started thinking about every single category the hardest one was fucking lips it was like okay i don't have a brand in particular it's more like shades and shit that i'm obsessed with i don't know but i'm in a place i'm not going to do it as i said because i know that i will regret it in five weeks and but i really really want to do like another declutter but i'm still trying to get rid of the first declutter that i had and i was sitting now that i got my money i was like okay maybe i should place an order at car pop because there's three palettes that i want so it's the strawberry palette the new um birdie palette or whatever it's called and then the lilac palette but then i was like you know what you have enough is enough paulina how much do you really want them or do you just want like that thrill of buying new makeup and i was like you know what it's the thrill i started filling up a card and i was starting to fill up with gifts and shit that i was going to purchase to some of you guys and then i was like you know what no i'm not gonna do this no i still have palettes that i haven't bought and during my no buy I've been so thrilled because I've actually started using makeup, the makeup that's been unused and I've started using like old makeup, you guys know what I mean, but you know, a little bit older makeup and products that I haven't really been reaching for and I've, you know, with my, sh my stash series started to declutter a little bit more. I decluttered a Juvia's Place palette that I never thought that I would do, but I felt like, why keep it if I don't love it? I'm so inspired by Kiliguchi's um, Shop My Stash series. I love her Shop My Stash series. It's one of my favorite things to watch because I feel like she has such a curated collection. She has a lot of makeup, so don't get me wrong, but she still has like a curated collection. Just before I started filming this, she was talking about, she was doing a declutter video. I'll link Kelly's channel uh, down below. But she was doing this declutter video and she was decluttering a palette that she loved because she doesn't want to get more than 20 palettes and she had over 20 palettes now so she wanted to declutter it even though she loved it because she knew that there's only so much time so if she uses like every single palette she can only use it like almost like once a month okay let's pick out highlights so it's this palette this palette is very, very cute when you actually open it up. Looks like this, it's super cute. But I have to read up a little bit about it because I'm not really sure what all of the shades are supposed to do. Like the lilac palette or shade, what is that supposed to do? I'm gonna use Clutch. And by the way, if you saw me use something, I just used my Melt Makeup Highlighter Stick. I was talking about this in a favorites video favorites and disappointments video you haven't seen that because i didn't ever upload it but i was saying that it's a, it's a little bit more toned down than i like it to be but now i same with the bronzer i use it every single day because i feel like it gives it such a sheen and beautiful look so i just apply that on a day to day and then i apply just a tad of my pixie highlight not this one. So I apply a little bit of that and it gives the most beautiful sheen. Have you seen the new Kaleidos highlights? I have all of them. So I got them all in PR and I did actually upload a little swatch video and I used three of them on Instagram. So yeah, check that out if you want to. Very, very beautiful, but it's hard to miss it with um, this as a base because it's going to apply pretty neatly when it has a base. Now I want to use this. This also comes in this little kit. So this is the Pixie Mariam. Okay, it's called Coral Bang. Yeah, I really like this. I feel like this is a cute, fresh, summery look. Like I could definitely get rid of the mascara right here, but 
I don't really bother. <laughs> Okay, ranty video. I've been filming for more than an hour, so I hope that this video isn't over an hour. I hope that this video isn't over like 40 minutes. Like if you want to, dislike if you dislike this video. I don't blame you if you want to. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you want to see me a little bit more. And uh, yeah, okay, bye.